difference between additive manufacturing and subtractive manufacturing processes. Both additive and subtractive manufacturing have revolutionized the way products, parts, and prototypes are made. Additive and subtractive manufacturing technologies are advancing rapidly, with the advancement of technology. In this video we will discuss in a detailed overview of the main differences between additive and subtractive manufacturing. There are several fundamental differences between additive and subtractive manufacturing, in both processes and the end results. Number 1. Material Processing Type Additive manufacturing is a process, that adds successive layers of material to create an object, often referred to as 3D printing. In other words, in the additive manufacturing process, the object is created by adding material in layer-by-layer -layer format. On the other hand, subtractive manufacturing, as the name suggests, this is quite the opposite of what additive manufacturing is. Rather than adding layers, in subtractive manufacturing material is removed by machining. It can be carried out manually in lathe machine, or automatically with CNC machine. Number 2. Type of Approach Additive manufacturing employs bottom-up approach, that is, in additive manufacturing, first the bottom-most layer is printed, and the next consecutive layer is added on top of the previously printed layer, and thus the final object is created. The subtractive manufacturing employs top-down approach, that is the material is removed from the top to obtain the desired shape of the object. Number 3. Material Wastage In additive manufacturing process, the wastage of material is very less, and usually the wastage is in the form of support material, but there are some 3D printing techniques where we don't even need support materials. But in subtractive manufacturing process we remove material from the workpiece, so this process produces lots of wastage, usually in the form of chips, vapors, scrap metal, dissolved ions, etc. Number 4. Type of Fabrication or Machining The additive manufacturing process include 3D printing or layered fabrication. The subtractive manufacturing process includes traditional machining or CNC machining. Number 5. Type of Operations in the Process the standard process in additive manufacturing process are 3D modeling, data conversion and transmission, checking for errors and preparing, building the model and finally post-processing, to create functional parts, products, or prototypes. In subtractive manufacturing standard machining operations are, drilling, turning, milling, threading etc. Number 6. Surface Finish in the additive manufacturing the surface finish varies from one 3D printing technique to other, the surface finish is rough in additive manufacturing process, when compared to subtractive manufacturing process. To get a smooth surface finish post-processing of part or product is carried out. In subtractive manufacturing process, good surface finish can be obtained. Number 7. Complexity of the component. With additive manufacturing process, complex parts with intricate shapes and hollow cavities can easily be produced. But in subtractive manufacturing, intricate shapes and undercuts are very difficult to obtain, they have limited capabilities when it comes to complex geometry of the component. Number 8. Tool Wear In the additive manufacturing there is no tool wear because to print the material additive manufacturing process uses variety of lasers, and materials are projected onto the workpiece through nozzles. Whereas, in the subtractive manufacturing processes tool is in contact with the workpiece during the operations, thus large frictional forces are produced, 
which in turn generates heat, thus need to change the tool whenever it wears out. Number 9. Design Flexibility In additive manufacturing the weight of the components can be reduced to some extent, by simply changing the design of the component, and make hollow cavities inside the component, which in turn makes the component strong and lightweight, but this is not possible in subtractive manufacturing process, you can't produce components with internal cavities. Number 10. Number of Components In additive manufacturing, the product can be designed in such a way that, a greater number of components are printed together, thus reducing the need of combining components with nuts and bolts. This is possible because of layer-by-layer -layer approach. Number 11. Rigidity of the product. Because there are less number of components, the products obtained by additive manufacturing are more rigid than the products that are produced by subtractive manufacturing process. Number 12. Tolerances of the product. The tolerances in the products made by additive manufacturing process are much closer, when compared to subtractive manufacturing process, which directly results in increased durability and life of the products. Number 13. Melting point of the material. Additive manufacturing is usually suitable for materials having low melting point, whereas subtractive manufacturing can be applied for all solid materials irrespective of their melting point. Number 14. Material Library There are wide range of materials available to choose for additive manufacturing process, and are increasing by the day, such as ferrous and non-ferrous metals, variety of plastics, surmets, composites, biodegradable materials, biocompatible materials for medical surgeries etc., they are available in all forms and states. Number 15. Rate of Production One main disadvantage at present is, additive manufacturing is a slow process, time-consuming but you can choose quality or properties as per your requirement, but the quality of the component depends on the type of additive manufacturing technique you have chosen, they vary as per the purpose and requirements. For example, if you want good surface finish you can get it in stereolithography process, for good mechanical properties and for functional use you can choose selective laser sintering. If you are concerned with the cost of the component and if you don't need a good surface finish you can choose fused deposition modeling process. If you want to display your design in a showroom for visual representation purpose, you can try laminated object modeling process, there are many other techniques available at present in the market but the rate at which they can print the parts will increase in the near future as 3d printers have evolved in the last decade itself number 16 skill of the operator in additive manufacturing there is no need for a skilled operator once the 3d cad model is loaded in the computer the process takes place without human intervention all we need to do is feed raw material, and after component is printed, post-processing should be done with care. There are some techniques available where post-processing operation is not required. But in the subtractive manufacturing skilled machine operator is needed, either to write the CNC code or to manually operate a machine. Number 17. Type of Production for production of custom-made designs, additive manufacturing is the best, and subtractive manufacturing is suitable for medium to large-scale production. Number 18. Equipment Cost The last difference between them is, the cost of desktop version of fused deposition modeling 3D printer is less than the CNC machine. But other additive manufacturing machines are costly. Thus 3D printer is best for science projects, DIY projects, to make parts for experiments, to decorate your home interiors, 
to play with your 3D printed models and CAD designs, and to do many more curious things. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more engineering concepts and happy learning.